Hi people, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to my space. So today I want to take you through what my daughter eats in a day. For her breakfast, I'll just make porridge which has is a mixture of different cereals. It has groundnuts, it has cassava and it has uh, wimby. I don't know what is wimby in English, please someone tell me. So I'll just put the mixture in boiling water. I'll put a little bit of butter and I'll put a little bit of sugar also. Um, she just like it that way. I find this porridge so nutritious and she enjoyed it so much. And guys, do you know that groundnuts increase the appetite of a baby? So I'm intentionally planning for her to have a great appetite for this. Yeah, this day and this video. <laughs> so I let it cool for a while and have her, which she really enjoys and she really loves. As you can see, she'll eat almost all of it. Okay, let me just stop working and let you watch. At this point I had to entertain her for her to finish because she was getting a little bored. So I had to mix up some games and some noises and encourage her to finish. Which works, it works. So some a little bit of perseverance and it works. So she had had enough and I just let her be because she did a pretty good job. So I didn't force her anymore. It was done. Moving on, this was around 10, so she had some snacks, these are baked corn cows, I just bought them, she loved them and I encourage her to do so because she can feed herself and it's time for her to try some finger foods and she really enjoys that doing that and it makes my work so much easier, so I just let her sit on the couch and she eats her snacks. As she enjoyed her snacks, I decided to move on and prepare her lunch. For today, she'll be eating some egg egg soup or egg curry. Basically, it's just tomatoes, soup, and uh, eggs. She won't eat the two ones for her brother. So she'll eat one and the soup and some ugali we had made uh, for dinner last night and some greens. Yeah, a little spinach, sorry. <laughs> After it was done, it had boiled, it was enough, I served her. And she was here, she was really trying to feed herself. She's becoming so independent, so fast. I encourage her to feed herself, of which sometimes she gets tired and have to step in. And on this particular day, she was really enjoying her food. So I was so, I was so proud of her. I think she knew that she was being recorded. She did a pretty good job. You go, sister, even if you want to climb the table, so long as you eat my mask. Go, girl. Okay, so she didn't finish and we kept it aside for the next feed or next time and she was now eating her watermelon she loves watermelon and again she can feed herself so i encourage her to do so yeah and uh, oh my god my baby will burst but yeah 
Okay. Now she knows her limit and she was done and she pushed the plate away and this was my cue. She's done. And this time you can bet that a really nice nap followed. And moving on to dinner, these are some sliced apples, some french beans, some cabbages and rice. This was actually what we were having for dinner apart from the apples. And she enjoyed the apples and the french beans. Uh, the rice did go so well. So she was bored. I stepped in but, uh, but it was a struggle. So sometimes they don't eat as we would like. And they eat what they want, which is okay. Which is okay. Yeah, so I just let her be. So since that didn't go as well, I gave her some milk and chocolate, drinking chocolate. And uh, guys, she was not full because she still ate this cake. So at least by this time I was okay that she's full. I was pretty sure she's full. Um, This is how her meal day was. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.